what is up my dudes we are back here it's your boy Sid back with another uh, Funko Pop unboxing today we got um, Exodia the forbidden one from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh now Yu-Gi-Oh is one of the goats from back in the day Like even though in one of my previous videos I said I can keep it out of the box, I just like now I've got a bit too many and it's a bit hard to like keep it all over the place. So I find just leaving it in the box is easier. Plus, like I think one of my my Spider-Man on the stand doesn't actually like you know work properly, so I just leave that out of the box. But the six-inch ones are practically impossible to keep in the box, in my opinion, because they're just that damn huge. But. <laughs> But yeah, um, let's focus on this for now. Um, I will be leaving this one out of the box, but I might keep the box. I probably will keep the box, even though it's like so huge. But yeah, um, it's well packaged as usual. Funko does their packaging well. Ooh, that's movable. Okay. That's very rare. I got, it's not that common for Funko Pops to have, you know movable parts I guess but they can only do so much I guess um yeah very nice I will be honest um I'll just take a action I, not action pose I guess I'll just um I'll have a recording of it but yeah as you guys can see it is very well detailed like you can see the teeth and that and whatever stuff's going on there you've got the butt um, and then, you know, this is something I had never actually noticed in, like, when I was a kid back, like, watching Yu-Gi-Oh, but Zodia has, like, these sort of, like, horn-looking things at the back, which is kind of insane. It's also, like, oh, the Funko Pop's, like, really detailed as usual. You've got, like, the, you know, like, the little cuts there and all that other good stuff, but it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, this is definitely gonna look great next to my other figurines and stuff, but yeah, here's a little action shot, I guess. Here we go. 